be our video by the one and only Mel. This is the Mel channel. Of course, I present to you Game Week 29. The season's almost over. It's about. This is also in FPL. I know that normally, obviously, Liverpool are running away with the lead, but normally this is the period where they call it the business time of the Premier League, and I guess it's the business time of the FPL. You know gonna see a lot of risks being taken and yeah let's see what risk we will be taking obviously as you can remember gaming 28 didn't go so well for me and many other managers but many other managers got above the average and got a good score but not me 21 but I'll take it on the chin as the video title suggests I'm gonna show my bounce back ability and hopefully it's upwards and I don't know what is my target but I just want to finish as high as I can but I am targeting at least you know break into the 100k for the first time I was on course, but things didn't turn out well. These are the Game Week 29 fixtures. There's only one standout fixture, of course, which is the Manchester Derby. What are we going to see? Are we going to see fireworks? We will see. Um, uh, but, you know, the, the, both the League Cup games were exciting. The last time they met, the game was exciting. Will we see more fireworks? Will we see Man United for the first time doing a double over their rivals in a long, long time? I think that will be the first time they do this since, I don't know, the Fergie era. Uh, other than that, uh, the other standout fixture is obviously the London Derby, Arsenal versus the Hammers. There's going to be fireworks. <coughs> oh, I'm getting the flu here. Uh, excuse me. Um, that one is going to be an interesting game. I think Wolves, I think as well. They play well. Burnley versus Spurs. That's going to be an interesting tie as well. Uh, these are my predictions. One uh, purely to Liverpool because... Yes, I think Liverpool will win. Because the only reason why I think they'll win is because Bournemouth are just in a push. Just like West Ham, how West Ham lost against uh, Liverpool is purely because they are just the worst team <laughs> than Liverpool at the moment, and that's how it's just gonna pan out. I think they'll keep the standard clean sheet, they'll get that early goal, and then things will just be quiet and they just pass it around and end up taking the tempo out of the game by taking out the key players. And I think that's how it's going to pan out 2-1 to uh, where, uh, to Arsenal. I think there's going to be goals in this fixture. I think Arsenal purely are going to want it more because of the week they've had. Yes, they won in the FA Cup on Monday, which was great for them. But um, they are going to... I'm watching the Tottenham game as well. Top Tottenham just scored uh, from a free kick. Fantastic stuff by Los also Easy goal for Vuitton and they're probably going to go through. But they're going to need more of that if they're going to beat Burnley because Burnley are good. They can defend set pieces. So if they can't sort out that striker lineup, then I guess they're going to be in trouble 1 0 to them. There's going to be goals in the Lo London derby there. And I think Arsenal will just edge it uh, 1 1 between Crystal Palace and Watford, I think. Uh, I was thinking of a Watford win, but you know, the form that Crystal Palace are showing, I think they can at least remain undefeated in this game. 1-0 uh, to Newcastle, purely because Newcastle can't seem to uh, find a win. Yes, they won in the FA Cup, great job against West Brom, scored I think 5 goals, which was fantastic by them. They showed they can score goals, but this is not that... West Brom team. This is not a championship quality they'll be playing against. 
Um, they'll be playing against real good defensive team. We've seen how Southampton have been good and they've grown over this voodoo they've had at home, even though they lost in game week 28, I think, at home. Or was it 27? Um, other than that, I think Norwich could pull off an away win at Sheffield. We've seen how Sheffield can be poor uh, at home and have tried to <laughs> kind of save them. But when they disappointed me in that 1-1 one -one draw um, recently, I think that Norwich can pull off a result if they can show that same spirit. Is it this going to be the first time Norwich get two wins in two? We'll have to find out. Um, as I said, Brighton, it's going to be an entertain, entertaining game there. I think there's going to be goals. Uh, but Wolves will just edge it again. 2-1 there. 2-2. Uh, this is the third consecutive time I predict 2-2 two -two for Everton and twice. Well, once they scored two goals against Arsenal, but it wasn't a draw. Arsenal won 3-2. Last time it was a draw, but uh, it wasn't 2-2. What will happen this time? Only fate will decide. I still think Chelsea are still shaky. They got it lucky when uh, Liverpool threw the towel at the FA Cup. They were not interested. You can see with the line of Marimino up front. He hasn't done well, hasn't wowed us yet. I mean, what's their future like? Maybe they throw all their chips in the Atletico game, but could that haunt them? It will be such a poor season if they could just win only the, uh, the, the, the Premier League for a team which we would think would progress the season, maybe do the double. Settling for one trophy will be disappointing for Liverpool. 2-1 uh, to Man City. Um, I think there's going to be goals. Question is who's going to win? It's going to be tight. It's going to be AG. Uh, I'm confident any score, but for now it's 2 1 for Man United purely because they're at home. And 2 0. I think Leicester are going to finally break, break their voodoo. And I think they'll have too much firepower, especially if Vardy is able to play. These are the milk of the matches. That's right, the milk of the matches. The players that I think that will do well uh, in this coming game week. Hashtag game week 29. Uh, Salah, he had a rest in the FA Cup. I think it will be gearing to go. And he'll probably show a good display. He does like playing against Bournemouth. Has a hat trick in this game too. So hopefully more fireworks. Ozil has been quiet in terms of providing any goals. But he has been playing well. Hopefully this time we can produce something. Saw he's been incredible even before he left. He was involved in every single. He had a return in every single game week when before he left. Can he continue that form? I hope so because I want to bring him soon. Especially with the fact that he has some good fixtures coming, especially during game week 33 to about 36. Three good game weeks there. I think Newcastle is one of the fixtures they'll play. Uh, Ings, he's been terrible really purely because he he hasn't played much and he's been his minutes have been managed. Hopefully he can get a full game and show what he's worth. He was saved for the FA Cup on Wednesday. We'll see how he does there. And obviously we'll judge on that but I, I still have him in the team until I walk out at least because Southampton have good fixtures. Pookie, he's been quiet as well. Norwich have been playing well. If there's going to be goals for Norwich, he's going to be one of them. Chanta, I mean, what more can I say? Second or third most transferred in player. He's fantastic at the moment. Pope, if Burnley are going to keep a clean sheet, obviously Pope is going to be instrumental in that. Giroud has played well over the past few days. Uh, even against Liverpool, even though the commentators don't agree with me, but he has played well. I've been impressed. Uh, he continues to do what he's good at, uh, involving other players, and hopefully uh, Chelsea midfield can uh, feed off that and 
hopefully in the future, especially with the fact that Abraham could be out long term, well not long term, for about two weeks, uh, he could bring to life the likes of Mount, who I would like to have back in my team, Fernandez, another one who's been on the phone, Madison, uh, so I start saying that he has the most chances created in the last four game weeks. Hopefully this time he can produce them into points. This is the team um, that I have. I have McCarthy in goal, uh, Ings, another one, both of them, both of them playing Newcastle at home. Hopefully they can get a clean sheet and a goal respectively. I uh, know Stevens, Cantor and Henley all playing each other um, but it's a home game for the Sheffield boys uh, I don't expect anything honestly <laughs> I'm just hopeful I hope they can get like an assist because I know there will be goals in this game the triple up of course Salah and Sandra Arnold and Marnie this time Captain Marnie but it could change considering the fact that Salah got a rest but I think Mane is also due. Uh, Uzo, uh, West Ham is a great player, great fixture. Madison and Vardy playing Austin Villa. That will be another good game. Um, Jimenez and against Brighton, another good game for Wolves. Hopefully, <laughs> Jimenez will be there. But actually, that's Charter. Yes, Charter. <laughs> Delta will be in goal, it will be leading the line for me. Uh, but yet, that's the team in the bench. Uh, to wrap it up, it's Rico and Martin. Uh, respectfully, hopefully, I can bounce back. How are you guys lining up? Do tell me how you guys are lining up. And yeah, thanks you for watching and for tuning in and for staying this long. Uh, have a good game week.